Hello and welcome back to my channel and today I will show you a very easy and simple way to make a hover over um, function like the one you see here. So if you hover over the text here, it will open up a panel. Yes, let's get to it. So the first thing that you will need to do is of course to create this text. So let's make a UI TextMess Pro text. If it's the first time that you are using TextMess Pro, you will have to import the TM Pro. It will only take a couple of seconds like this. And then you have a text. The difference between this text and the regular text is that uh, the quality so if you see here, the new TextMess Pro is a lot better than the old text. So I can recommend to use that. Good. Now when we have the text, let's call this the hover over. And in the input, let's call it uh, hover over me, just for testing. So let's bump it up like this. Let's bump the text up a bit so it's easier to see like this. And of course, on the uh, on your canvas, remember to set the the scale mode, scale with screen size. And in this my case, I will do 90 by 80, like 1080. This will uh, is for HD. Um, then you need to make the panel as well that you want to open. So here we will make an image. Let's bump it up a bit like this. Let's send send it. Up here, um, let's make a text on it. Text, put text, and here I will make it black. And let's write something. Let's oops. Can I even spell that? So, oops. Subscribe. Yes. Yes. And then disable. Let's call it the uh, hover. Oh. Hover over panel. So let's disable this from the get go. Now let's create a new C sharp script and call this hover over. Uh, take your text that uh, or text or your object that you want to ho hover over uh, to show up uh, the panel. Drag the script to that object. Open up the script, and here we need to implement a new function called using Unity Engine dot Events Systems, and here we need to implement i pointer. So when you say i pointer here, you can see there are different met methods here, and to go through them quickly, uh, I many of them says. Uh, themselves, I point a click handle. When you click the object, uh, something will happen. Here, when you hold down, something will happen. When the mouse enter uh, the object, something will happen. Here, when you exit the object, and here, when you move, something will happen. And when up is when you, if you press and you release the mouse, then something will happen there. I will show some of them. So if we take I pointer enter handle here and I pointer exit handler. And first let's delete the update and start function. We do not need that. Now, now right click uh, the I pointer enter, quick action, implement interface, do it for both of them. Delete uh, the default text in here. We don't need that. And here on on pointer enter, we can simply just oh we need a reference to the panel first. So let's make a public game object and call this uh, hover panel. And then here we can say hover panel dot set active to true. So when we enter the function. 
it will be set true and you can just copy this and paste it down here and when you exit it will be set to false. So save the script and head back to Unity. Let it compile. You can see over here now, now we need a reference to the panel, so drag the panel over there. And now when we hit play, we should actually be able to, when we hover over, panel will open, when we go away, it will disappear. So simple as that. So one other thing that we can do, if you open up the script again, and we can implement the eye pointer, uh, click handler and then we need to remove the the uh, eye pointer enter so remove that one and we need to remove it down here as well then right click this one implement interface yes here it is and here we can say hover over panel dot set active to true so what happens here now is when you click the panel. So head back to Unity, let's hit play again. And now nothing happens when you go hover over with your mouse, but when you click it, it will open and when you remove your mouse, it disappears. And if you don't want it to disappear when your mouse is getting uh, off the target, then in the script, you can simply just remove the on pointer exit. Then it will open up the panel when you click. And then you can, if you want to, on the panel add an exit button instead and then exit it on that way. Yeah, that was uh, what I had to, to show you in uh, this tutorial. Um, if you want to see more, more videos from me, uh, please hit the like and subscribe button below. and. Uh, See you next time.